Thank you for joining me today on one of my little adventures. Currently right now, I am taking old stagecoach route and I'm heading up to a ranch that's back way back over here inside the mountains. This right here used to be a stagecoach stop and then later became a railroad stop. And that's the old abandoned railroad bed that goes into Rylite. The stagecoach route was right over here. But that doesn't interest me. What interests me is this stone structure up ahead. It's very unusual. And it was not created by the station manager that operated this well. As you can see, at one time there was two, a way smaller one and then this large one. But what this actually was, was an oven a really large oven this was a smaller one these were actually used by the natives in the area in this area you have Shoshone and Paiute and this being a well there actually used to be a seep up here for a while that's why they drilled the well and there is a pretty large camp here and this oven was used after probably harvests I love to show things like this to people. So that's actually kind of neat. Got powder cans here. Alrighty then, let me go ahead and get back going and I'll meet you at the next place, which is a really neat little cave that no one knows exists. And the reason why I know that, I'll show you when I get there. But I stopped here because this is a pretty interesting site. This is a year-round spring. And it's still used by the animals in the area. We don't have a ranching here because of uh, this is Death Valley, but it's year round, it's good flow. In the springtime, there's actually so much water that it's cascading down and you actually have a stream going all the way down into the valley. Even though this is pretty neat to come and see, yeah. There, there's the water coming out of the ground in this area. There's a couple more places where the water comes out. Essentially right now I'm standing on top of the spring here. Now, this is a trough or water storage. It's left over from when there was ranching in this area. piping to go ahead and move the water to different locations. Yeah, you gotta come out here in the springtime. This place is just nothing but birds. It's a pretty interesting sight to see. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually little caves all over the place. And that's one of the main reasons I stopped here was not because of the spring, even though the spring in its own is pretty interesting. But, it's actually what's up there in that rock face. So let me meet you up there. I moved my truck away from the spring, so I'm not disturbing any animals that might be coming up for early morning drink. And 
So I'm heading up to that little rock outcropping right now. And there, we already have a kerosene can. And pinch seam can. Yeah, about 1930s. You probably can already see the rock wall. Look at this. Nice little miner's cave. Still has the stove. He stayed up in there. Still has his cup hanging on the wall. <clears throat> this is just a neat little thing. I don't know if it was a blind or what it is. It might have actually been used during the Depression when the federal government would grub stake people. But that stove is just one of the coolest things ever. And as you noticed, when I was showing this area, down from the road or over by the spring, you can't tell it's up here. The way I came across this was <clears throat> on the road, I found deer droppings and they were fresh. Uh, matter of fact, there's coyote right there. And the tracks from the deer came up here. So I was thinking I might be able to catch him and get a good shot of him, a good picture. And as I was coming up to this area, I saw that. So I go, I'll come back to that. Came over there, happened to catch an entire herd of deer right down there. Got some beautiful pictures of them. Went back and that is just really neat. All right, let me go ahead and get some updated pictures of it. And next one is, is we're heading up into that little canyon over there. And I'll meet you up there. So before I take you up to the ranch, I'm gonna take you over here. There's something really neat around this corner. Now this road, the family used to use to get to Finney Canyon on the other side, and also to get to their cattle that were grazing higher up in the mountains during the summer. Here, in the shadow of this rock, is a corral with a little cave. 
or our little shelter. This is where the family used to store their horses or house their horses. And if need to, as you can see, they, people have actually stayed underneath here because that's signs of fires. Yeah. Just very ingenious use of the surrounding area. Okay, let's head to the cabin now. I got most of the way up to the cabins, but I had to turn around because I wanted to do 360 snow pictures. And there's really no place to hide the truck when you're up at the site. And on top of that, I didn't want big tire tracks in the shot because those are a little bit harder to get rid of than footprints. So I ended up having to, like I said, park over there, which is about a quarter of a mile away from the site. But this is known as Mormon tea, Spanish tea, and has a lot of different names. But what's neat about it is it actually has a lot of vitamin C in it. Plus, it will help with an upset stomach if you've brewed into a tea. So it's not uncommon when I'm hiking, I'll go ahead and just take a spray and just suck on it. it kind of has a little bitter taste. When it's brewed into a tea, it's a little bit more citrusy. And see, we're actually in, we're high enough where we actually have real pine trees, not the pinion pine. This entire mountain range that we're in has some of the sweetest pine nuts I've ever gathered. The ones near my house in the spring mountains are pretty decent, but the ones in this mountain range, for some reason, are like extra sweet. What I find very funny is the camera I'm filming with right now I got to try to consolidate a bunch of cameras into one. <laughs> it's funny, I'm filming with it. I like the way it works with traveling shots, but I don't like it in other things. So I'm carrying three cameras again. Eh, that's okay. So there we got the cabins right over there. And you can see this is where I turned around when I realized, oh, not really realized, realized, but remembered that it's kind of hard to hide the truck in this area. I don't know how many more winters this will be around. I'll show you the dugout, but there's this really cool dugout that was completely intact. And then they had a really nasty windstorm here and it blew the roof right off of it. That happened about three years ago. That's the dugout that used to have a roof on it. The roof is actually laying next to it. So this is it. 
it's one of the coolest little ranches in this area. The family who ran it lived in Beatty. The father was from Sweden and he worked in the mines in Rylite. And to help with food for his family and to make a little extra money, they homesteaded this little ranch up here and they ran cattle and they also worked, the boys worked over in Judge Finney's mine over here in Finney Canyon on the other side of this mountain. Now this site is in Death Valley. Floor is gone. The old way that they used to insulate the walls was newspaper, cardboard, whatever they can really grab. Looks like a crate was used as a little nook. Cabinet. This place is so remote that a lot of the people that come here, they don't take stuff. When they find something, they actually leave it. Oh. Tin plate. Got to stay on the floor joists. Uh, up there, that canvas, that was other, another way they insulated, so they would actually have a canvas layer um, following the ceiling. A lot of times they would actually have it going all the way down, and that would actually create an um, air barrier. Here's some more stuff that people have found. That is an automotive coil, or what's left of it. That's the bottom of a wine bottle. It's the top of a whiskey bottle. A little goose ball now. Actually, that's a coffee cup. Yeah. Somebody was up here. That's modern screws. National Park Service. Okay. So Death Valley. Death Valley Park Service came up here and tried to save this cabin. Or trying to save this cabin. Good. This right here is an old stove. It used to be, the stove used to be right here. Ah, oh, never mind. There just happens to be a second one.
So I finished doing the 360 on all those buildings. I'm gonna go ahead over here to this little stone cabin slash dugout. So there we go. That's what's left of the roof. This is a neat little place. I love that fireplace, little shelf there. And it looks like they might have actually had another fireplace here because this is uh, used for chimney stacks. The door's still here. This is just a cool little place. I love what they're using for a stovepipe, or yeah, stovepipe, a uh, water pipe. Hey, whatever works, right? Now let me go ahead and get my 360 shots and I'll meet you up there. Uh, I'm done with the 360 here. Let's go ahead and head up to the utility sheds and slash barn. Okay. So we got a little pen, holding pen over here. Chicken coop. Gotta have that chicken coop. Not as fancy as the one up at the Beck Ranch, but it's still pretty neat. That right there is a firewall from an old vehicle, old wooden frame vehicle. That is a water pipe. Another holding pin with a little roof on it. This was just a work shed. This is all stuff that people have found out here. what's left of a mangle. Okay. This is the timing system for an old automobile when you used to actually have to set your own spark. That's that unit. Over here, they have some debris, more water pipe. The main spring that they got their water from was up there. And nothing really up there to go see except for a porta potty that the National Park Service put up here.
It's funny they drug a porta potty out here, but very few people even know this place exists. It's very neat up here. Well, okay. That is it for today's adventure. I appreciate it if you made it all the way to the end of this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And just remember most of all, if you're ever out exploring in remote places such as this, enjoy the beauty, leave it as you found it. Most of all, be safe.